So you want to hear about the Sentinel Crisis? Well, I guess it's time somebody did hear. It all started a few years back. I was dropped in and told I'd be facing an enemy I never fought before. And was that ever an understatement? The first insurgent I came face to face with still haunts me to this very day. It was a goddamn piece of toast with a machine gun. At that moment, instinct took over and then it just came bang bang! And he dropped like a piece of bread. The moment he falls to the ground, BAM! Bullets are whizzing past me. Going past my ears. I get low to the ground. His buddies are deep in behind cover going do 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 do. Heavy fire. Heavy machine gun fire. Just come from everywhere. I have to do what I have to do at this point. They lack tactics and aim, so I could easily sneak behind them and close in for the kill. As soon as I could smell the wheat, I prepped myself and got ready for the fight I never thought I'd be ready for. And I did what needed to be done. After all that, all hell broke loose. I was able to push back every enemy that came my way until I reached my target, General Holgrain. As soon as I saw him, I drew my firearm. Squeezing the trigger, all I heard was click. So I resorted to my trusty knife and wham! Right into his side. With that knife, I opened him right up and as soon as I saw his fluffy insides, I hit him with the heavy stuff. Ham, turkey, cheddar cheese, Colby Jack, and then I went above the law and brought in the chemical warfare with the mustard, and hot sauce. And that's when I knew I had it. The perfect lunch. At least that's the way I thought it was. That game was a pain in the cock. A pain in the cock? I'm about to relive. Starting the game, the first thing you'll notice is the game feels sluggish, and my personal beef is the inverted axis. This can be easily remedied by going to the options. I later realized that you can change the sensitivity as well. I wish I would have figured out that sooner. This game's so much easier to play when you can actually move and shoot. One cool thing I like about this game is that you can see the inner helmet, but that's just about it. Games like Republic Commando and Metroid Primate did it so much better though. Turning through the game, everything feels generic and uses up. The bad guys feel like loaves of bread, they'd rather create a wall of gunfire to run into rather than be tactical. Which isn't bad because you have technology that can show you their location. We'll just call this the Toast Finder 3000. And even sometimes this works out for them because aiming in this game is ridiculous. Even up close it proves to be a chore. It feels like when they were programming this game, the developers said, Everybody likes shooting cardboard cutouts, lackluster environments, let's make a game about that. Even the missions are given the least amount of effort. They all follow the same path. Go all the way to the end of the map. Okay, now go back. Try doing that for six hours. Oh yeah. With all the effort they put in this game by not giving it a multiplayer or a reward system, they managed to crank out a six hour long campaign. And you know what? The game could have really been better with a GoldenEye type multiplayer. Speaking of GoldenEye, this game makes it seem like it's going for an updated tone of it. With all the good shit taken out. The weapon and level variety are off. I guarantee you'll be using the assault rifle on anything that explodes because you don't have to aim. The enemies are the same no matter what level you're in. Oh, and did I forget? You have to reset the sensitivity setting and the Y axis every time you load your file. You'd think if it saves your game, it could save that bit of information. By far, my all time favorite level is the train level, where you got to defend a slow moving train from enemies you can barely hit. And when you think you're almost done with it, you fucking die, and you gotta start from the beginning. After all that, you find out that the guys you thought were good guys were secretly the bad guys. You know what? I could give a shit. Let's move on to the waste in this fucker because after this point, they take the suit from me and you're just a regular Joe until you get it back because not one of these dorks comes up with the bright idea on wearing the suit themselves. Next mission! Which is a cheap stealth mission and you have to eliminate the general by not raising any alarms. Well, I guess I done fucked up. Maybe. Woo! Poor level design! And now we find ourselves on the last mission, which is just a poor defense then attack mission. But the game hits you with a fucking difficulty spike. Forget about rubber band AI. These guys went straight hardball with me. Between the lack of ammo, abundance of enemies, and the enemies constantly spawning, 
There's only one way to beat this level. That's just fucking run and don't look back. After all that, you get to the final boss, who's the fucking dork who decided not only to take your armor, but through sheer hubris to build his own suit and dozens more like it. And now, he's a dead fucking dork. That's it, Sentinel-1. Let's just hope Landau is only dealing with Radovan. As for Carlo's men, you've done a great thing today. The game gets a D minus just because you can't make a game and rehash a good game and take out all the things that made that game good. I'm Thorstein with the Kickback Gamers. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here.